It is windy, it is hot, and uh, Ted's going to talk about uh, the fact that that wind is going to keep on coming. Right, and then, of course, it happens on the very same day safe and sane fireworks went on sale. Uh, let's go outside now with Chief Meteorologist Ted Florendo. And, Ted, not really the best kind of firework weather, is it? Going in. Certainly not, guys, especially with 5% of humidity we had earlier today. Those gusty winds up to 40 miles per hour. And then you add the heat on top of that, a very high fire danger. Of course, taking a look uh, at the wind gusts we had earlier today, Peak gusts up to 40 up there in Sky Canyon, out towards Red Rock as well. Not too far behind areas like Spring Valley, Summerlin, McCarran saw those wind gusts up to about 30 to 35. Summerlin down to 30, but otherwise, nonetheless, we did have some really good gusts for the day today. They have decreased a little, but nonetheless, it's still very warm outside right now. In fact, taking a look ahead for tomorrow, we'll start off the morning warm in the low 80s, light breezes in the morning, and you'll notice through the day for tomorrow, those winds should stay at single digits. There will be some neighborhoods up to 10, maybe 15, but nowhere near the big gusts we had earlier today. So tomorrow looks a lot better. Back live now, joining me live is Shakila Alvarenga. Now, despite the red flag fire warnings that have ended at 9 o'clock tonight, I gotta tell you, even though those warnings have ended, that doesn't mean we're in the clear of any fire danger, especially since we had all those firewood stands open today. Yeah, and you know, we've been talking about it all this week. We actually went out uh, earlier today and we got one of those safe and sane fireworks that we have been talking about all week. Uh, it was just four bucks. They're cheap, they're safe, they're legal. And now, one of our assignment editors, uh, Brian Friesen, right over here on our right, he's gonna show us how it's properly done. So, of course, four. Of July coming up. A lot of people wondering uh, where they can purchase these. They're usually right outside the grocery store. And so, again, this uh, is a live demonstration right now of one of the Safe and sane fireworks that you can purchase legally here in Nevada. Now, earlier today, we saw an example of just a wrong way to use these fireworks, and it is a crime. Little, if anything, is left of this mailbox near Washington and Nellis. A firework exploded inside of it last night. Oh, I was like, maybe some kids doing pranks, you know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's to me, I didn't want to. I didn't even want to open mine because, you know, you never know what's going to be in there. Louis Padilla called 911. Police are still searching for the people responsible. This is a quiet neighborhood. I mean, you don't hear those things here. So it was weird. Yeah. Another explosion in a mailbox happened a few miles away. It's around this time of year that these types of stories pop up. I dread for the July. You know, I'm, I'm a patriotic person, but this is ridiculous. Elizabeth Jones has lived near Washington and Torrey Pines for the past 25 years. But every 4th of July, this is like living in the Third World War. There are enough to scare the heck out of our dogs. Dogs go under my desk and they, they you know, hide and they shake. She hopes this year won't be as bad as before, but she says the fireworks... Well, they've already started. It's the day after we go out and pick up all the leavings from these fireworks, that they're they're on our roof, they're in our pool, they're in the yard, they're everywhere, and I'm afraid someday they're going to set us on fire. Now, fortunately, no one was injured there. You can report illegal fireworks sightings online at youlightitwewriteit.vegas. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now.